Um, this is funny, actually. So, uh, if you're a new listener, you may not know this, but I hate Andrew Torba. Uh, Andrew Torba is both simultaneously extremely stupid and extremely lucky. And uh, he has had several opportunities to listen to input and safeguard his product and actually make it big. And he has completely and totally failed at every step of the way. If you don't know, Andrew Torba in 2016 worked an open source PHP project and made it into a Twitter clone called Gab. At another point, he decided to fork a different uh, PHP project called Mastodon, integrate Gab into the Fediverse, which is a uh, decentralized Twitter network that's kind of like a halfway point between Twitter and email. And immediately after joining the Fediverse, realized that anime avatars would be able to post at him and make fun of him. So he was so triggered by this after the hours of work his team had put into joining the Fediverse and completely rebasing their project on a completely different PHP project that he copied off of GitHub. Uh, he defederated and removed his instance from the Fediverse. Uh, though I think that it was, I can't remember, it's changed. It used to be like a one-way thing, like Fe, like Gab would just shit out its content onto the Fediverse and then not receive any content itself. But he may have reversed this and now it's like a, just completely isolated. Um, my favorite video is gone from the internet forever, but it's a picture, it's a video of Gab or uh, of Torva running around his backyard, literally huffing, like he's out of breath just from walking around and he's just yelling about how he's being censored. And then there was the time that he tried to keep bees and he killed all his bees and he posted this to the internet for some reason. Um, anyways, he's, he's been like a personal locale of mine, but people to say josh that you're jealous because he is rich he's made a ton of money off of gab um he asked people to mail in checks to support gab and he received millions of dollars worth of bitcoin and checks and but since then he's never been able to parlay that i think he even tried to do like his own token like his own crypto token and that didn't succeed um so he's just been kind of flailing and i think that elon musk taking over Twitter really dented his prospects because um, there's nothing on Gab that you don't get on X anymore. Um, like X is, is tolerant to even like outright racist shit. And um, there's a ton of Christian posters on X. It's like, what would you possibly post on X that you can't post or post on Gab that you can't post on X anymore? And the answer is not much. Um, so now his, I think he's, He's not doing too well. And he made the decision, which is kind of baffling to me, but I'll go over that now. Uh, Andrew says, and I had to log out to view this because he has me blocked on Gab. My handle on that is like at moon, and um, he has me blocked because I made fun of him. He says, starting in March, media uploads on Gab will be a privilege reserved for Gab Pro verified donor and investor users. We will no longer be supporting free media uploads and hosting huge amounts of data for free. Let me explain why. As all of you know, Gab has to maintain our in-house infrastructure because we have been banned from all cloud hosting providers. Over the past year, we've had so much data uploaded, largely from free users, that we have to purchase more storage and spend our precious and limited engineering resources trying to expand our infrastructure storage. We've also faced an onslaught on bot accounts over the past few months that we believe are purposefully uploading tons of media uh, files on purpose to flood our storage space. Finally, there are many real users who have been here for years and posted tens of thousands of times and have 10 to 100 gigabytes of media stored on Gab's drives for free. And those are all up and it becomes extremely costly to maintain. We can't do it anymore. Every user will be able to speak freely with words. But if you want the privilege of Gab hosting an endless stream of large images and videos, you will need to support the service. It's that just that simple. Pro, verified, donor, and investor users will no, notice no change when this happens. Um, things will continue normal for you. Everyone else will have to upgrade to Pro to upload, unlock the privilege of posting media files on Gab. And then he links to Pro.Gab for instructions on how to mail him a money order so that you can become a Pro user. Now, Andrew Torba is dumb. 
but I'm curious what the actual situation is like. If you were going to try and convince your users that it was necessary to remove one of the most fundamental features of a social media website, one that is common to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google, uh, well, was Google Plus, um, X slash Twitter, Discord, um, fucking Signal, every one of them allows you to communicate. Telegram allows you to communicate with images for free. So it's a hard bargain to tell your, your audience that they can't post media anymore. Um, and it in, inherently disprivileges you to other or disadvantages you. Sorry. His use of privilege has like rotted my brain now. He's um, like, especially compared to X, which has very generous upload standards, especially if you are subscribed for only $9 a month or whatever. Like you can upload like very large files on, on X in perpetuity. Um, so I, I would be very curious to see number one, if he has something called deduplication, deduplication is a programming term where if users upload something, um, if a same file exists somewhere else, it doesn't actually store it twice. It deduplicates it. Um, I would be curious to see if he has deduplication because that's a pretty significant thing to have on a social media site. Cause people are going to share the same images of Donald Trump praying um, you know, a million times. And if it's a one megabyte file, that has been shared a million times. You know, that's a, a lot of storage There's a terabyte dedicated to just, um, to just your, uh, Donald Trump praying. So I'd be very curious to see if he has due duplication. I would be very curious to see how much he's actually storing because storage is infamously cheap. You can buy a petabyte of storage with, um, redundancy, on spinning disk drives for um, relative to the cost of enterprise, pretty pretty much for nothing. Like it, storage is is fucking like really really cheap. Um, I don't know how to emphasize that enough. It's like fractions of a penny for a gigabyte of storage now. So I'd also be peta peta. It's the it's a thousand terabytes. So I'd be curious to see where he is with that. Um, then I would also like to know why he has chosen to do this and ban all media uploads instead of limiting file size. The Kiwi Farms deduplicates and it limits file size. So you the um the Mac like I, I could theoretically because it used to be 200 megabytes was the limit that Cloudflare allowed us to upload files. But these days I keep the file limit low to encourage people to upload files that are like 720p instead of 1080p, unless they really need to upload the 1080p version. So just by having a soft file limit, um, people are, are generally more considerate with what they upload. Uh, but just allowing images or um, WebP files, for instance, would allow people to post media and images are not expensive. Like 10, this guy, he's complaining about 10,000 images. 10,000 images is not very much. 10,000 images is not, like it depends, but it's not even a gigabyte sometimes, you know what I mean? So if you have a bunch of users posting 10,000 images, you have a very healthy community, but you also don't have much storage. So why would he, it's just, it's just inconceivable to me. Why would you, cause I, I, I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong because back in the day, uh, Andrew Torva was one of the first people I know who banned pornography. And I made the claim back then, if you want to go clip it, want to go find it and clip it, that no social media site can survive without pornography. Because if you look at Twitter and you look at Tumblr, which I think was around at the time, and you look at Reddit, uh, all these sites are like re replete. They had like 50% just porn. So my thought was there's no way that you, and especially the Fediverse, like there's no way that you can bootstrap a social, uh, a social network that doesn't have pornography. But he did just fine. Um, in fact, he was ahead of the curve on that. Um, pornography became a taboo in his circles. And uh, it was kind of a benefit to have a safer work community, um, which was something that even though I wasn't out to ban porn, uh, the Kiwi Farms being safe for work was a benefit, I, I believe was a benefit to it. So, I mean, I could be wrong about this, but I mean, posting images is, is pretty, pretty crucial to a platform. So... I don't know. I don't know what to to think about this, but his community is not happy. 
uh, Cosmonaut Katusha says, now that Gab is doing away with media uploads for the majority of users, the site is going to lose 90% of its traffic. As a predominantly conservative site, the vast majority of the traffic here is memes, screenshots of left hard X meltdowns, footage and breaking news, and DIY videos on everything from cooking to leatherworking. Without any of that, there's nothing here. The only content you will see is bot accounts linking generic clickbait articles in larger groups, literal bovine X shit, and good morning cat turd style memes of Michelle Obama's penis. The larger pay piggy accounts will continue to or sign up for paid accounts to post their media content, but when 80 to 90% of the people who interact with them leave the site or stop engaging, they too will end up leaving. Why shouldn't they? Maybe if A had sa saved the $20,000 he gave to Nick Fuentes, he could have bought a new server. Um, there's not much any more. There's not much more to say except that we had a good run. Lamau broke Eve, but this will probably be my last image uploaded to Gab. So I think it's fitting as to what the site is going to look like. In the evergreen words of Arthur Fleck, you get what you fucking deserve. Twenty thousand dollars to Nick Puentes. Can we build a server? Hold up. All right, chat. We can. I, I, I'll circle back to that, actually. Um, Andrew Torba uh, toots his own horn a little bit and says, banning Israeli IPs and changing the media policy are only the beginning. The subversive operations are coming to an end, and the rats will be smoked out of their tunnels on this platform, mark my words. The little ratatouille rats, pocket-watching, media-file uploading rats, Jewish rats, mind you. Um He's out to get you. He will crucify you. I see the rats. I see the rats in the chat right now. Disgusting. Andrew Torber's onto you, fuckers. Uh, I love the people. People are very upset by this. Trying to paint everyone that you're screwing over as a subversive Jew, huh? Good plan. It's actually a good post. Uh, I love that he he repeatedly iterated. There's no free rides. There's no free rides. Like. That when you are running a social media site, like you're you're selling people attention. You're basically saying, "Come post on our site, you'll get attention from people, and you'll grow your 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 audience." If you can't advertise that, then you don't really have too much. There's lots of sites that let you upload images for free. I wonder how many people are just going to like upload images to Imager or something and leak them in their posts, or just link that uh, to like their own blog sites and shit. Um, this guy. 2024 gab refugee underscore uh joined and he has this this image requires a gab gold account if you've not purchased a gab gold account you may not view this image uh he joined up to explain his grievances with andrew torba he says hello kiwi farms i've used gab for too long it's so totally over they sent out emails begging for more money your monthly fee to post beams is around thirty dollars and this goes up to a hundred dollars for a year and a staggering 500 usd for a pro lifetime pro membership this instantly discourages new users who will not pay $500 to post dumb memes. I will not pay that, and I had an embarrassing number of posts on that site. Happy to be at the farms. Oh, so this guy, uh, Papa Torba says, no more free rides, Goyam. Pay up. Pay the piper. And he's like, ah, I can get a free ride over on that Kiwi Farms. I'm being taken advantage of. My fee is $20 for a lifetime membership. I set the fee for a $20 lifetime membership in 2013, and I have never raised it. You could originally buy it for um, uh, $20 like through PayPal, and I have just never thought about this ever in like 10 years because it's like an insignificant amount of money, to be quite honest with you. Uh, regardless, so I've never raised it. So to this day, there are people who have bought True and Honest Fan through PayPal in 2013 uh, for $20, and they are still True and Honest Fans and have access to the secret shit posting site. I'm a shitty capitalist, true. If I ever get, um, I figure if I ever uh, do get to process payments, I'll just give everyone who has ever donated anything, like the, the True and Honest tag, and attach whatever bullshit to like something more expensive, but... Oh, it just went up. Oh my God. After he made that post. Oh, this guy's funny. I'm going to, can I like this post? Oh, let me refresh this page. I want to like his post. He posted a bunch of images, which is like the site slow. Mm, image poster. I already seeing the detriments of his. Oh, I did. I already liked it. What a futile effort though that was. All right, let's see. He has posted his uh, plethora of gab memes. So let's read this. 
Uh, and he doubled the fee, so it was five hundred for lifetime. Now it's a thousand dollars minus one, and then um, everything else is. Oh, yeah, the five year plan is for five hundred minus one dollar, and then the lifetime is now a thousand. So five hundred is only five years. What's the difference between the one year? Look at this. This is stupid. You can even see the one year plan is ninety nine dollars, and the five year plan is five hundred dollars. So. Oh my God, this is how bad Andrew Torba is at math. If you spend $99 for one year, you save 45%. If you spend $499 for five years, you save 44%. That means that it's more expensive to buy five years at once instead of one year at a time. Because after five years, you'll pay, doing it one year at a time, you'll pay $495. And if you buy five years at once, you'll pay $499. So it's more expensive to buy the $500 plan than it is to buy the one year at a time plan. Instead of, <laughs> instead of just offering it for $400 or something, you know, and g giving like a, a significant discount over month to month, that's really fun. This is this typifies why I think Torb is just a fucking retard, by the way. In case you wanted an explanation, this is a prime example. This is like zero thought put into how I'm going to chart. How I'm going to, my business is failing. What do I do? Let's put zero thought into our pricing structure and just ask for more money. That'll work. People, people love it when you don't respect their money and you just uh, feel entitled to it. It's really great. Uh, this is the email. I didn't get to see this because it was sent to, by um, to active users. Dear Gab community, as we continue to grow and face new challenges. By the way, he says this. I don't mean to interrupt it so soon, but he says, as we continue to grow, where are the numbers? Show me your act. If you're if you're trying to rally the troops and you're trying to show people that you need their money that they work for, they go to fucking, if you worked at McDonald's and you just want to shit post on the internet and post some memes on Gab, your favorite social media site, and now you're asking for, you know, $500, that is a significant amount of money for them. That's like a week's pay at least, uh, even before taxes. <laughs> so you better, you better make sure that you are crystal fucking clear uh, in your explanation. We have grown 25% in the last year. Our expenses are up. 30% because people are posting more images and more video. We are storing um, 20, 50 terabytes of data. We can't use cloud. We're paying this much in bandwidth. We're paying this much um, for new hard drives. We're, you know, sh sh we, we've already tried to deduplicate images. Show me what you have, what you're doing, and what you've already tried before asking for charity, basically and restricting existing features um, and asking for money for the paywall. Like, but no, he just says, and people just have to trust him. As we continue to grow and face new challenges, we are at a point where we need to expand Gab's infrastructure to handle the increased demand in different areas. By how much? How much? How much are you expanding it? Are you trying to buy a new server? Are you trying to buy, you know, 500 terabytes of, of triple redundancy spinning disk drives in your data center? Like... Are you upgrading your bandwidth from 10 uh, gigabits per second to 20? Like, what are you doing? I have no idea. One of our primary concerns is the storage space on our existing drives, which is quickly filling up. That's scary. The storage space on our existing drive. It, he makes it sound like there is one 12 terabyte drive plugged into the Gab server, and it's like at 90%. And now he's thinking like, ah, oh, fuck, I have to buy a second one. <laughs> you know what I mean? He says drive singular. There's one drive. There is a single um, 12 terabyte Western Digital stuck into a server somewhere. And that is the entire collection of every shit post on Gab. <laughs> it's urgent. We need a second one. <laughs> the D drive. <laughs> D Gab shit post. Oh my god, it's like critical. I'm gonna send this to the fucking Trunk Lord. <laughs> Please help us. We have one drive and it's almost full. <laughs> um to ensure that we can continue to uh, host every photo, video, and post on Gab, we need to expand our storage capacity before our existing drives are full. 
Um, this requires us to own and operate the server and hard drives ourselves, which is both expensive and necessary due to the deep platform we have faced. You know, that's not even true. He's full of shit because it's like two hundred dollars for like a big ass uh, storage uh, storage drive. But when you like host on cloud, because there's like redundancy and it's stored in multiple data centers and really bougie ass data centers too, you pay more over time for cloud storage. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess if you're in tech, you know what I mean. But like if you're paying Amazon for storage, you're paying way more than if you just have your own servers because you're paying them to manage the bullshit involved with hardware. Owning hardware sucks. The shit breaks. <laughs> Sometimes your motherboard just gets fried and you don't know why. Uh, that's why you pay them more. So to say we're, we're buying more hard drives, like, I don't know. It doesn't, it's, it's just not copacetic with me. Um, we urgently need the support of our Gab community to cover the cost of expanding our storage capacity. The best way is to upgrade. Your support is essential for us to maintain and operate Gab effectively. Anything you can do to help us with this effort would make a world of difference. It just so bothers me how there's no transparency. Like, if Torba were to come out and say, you know, we, we, um, we have this many staff. We have this much in operating expenses. We have this much. We're trying to buy a new $50,000 one petabyte storage cluster. Um, we know how we're going to do it. We're, we, we've already got a plan. We got it all scheduled out. This is exactly what we're crowdfunding for. And we just need this many people to become monthly or annual subscribers. And then you just have a little bar and it says we're, we're trying to reach. Um, I don't know how many but we're trying to reach like a thousand monthly subscribers. That would be really awesome. And then we would never have to worry about money uh, for a very long time. You know what I mean? And I think people would do that because you just outline, this is what we have, this is what we need, and this is how you can help. But the whole like extortion gamut, the free ride is over. The Israeli image posting rats will be smoked out of their ratatouille dens. Your, your, uh, free, <laughs> your reign of terror on my one storage drive is coming to an abrupt end. Come on, buddy. Uh, let's, okay, let's see the memes. I'm done reading this shit. I want to see Andrew Torba. All right. Oh, what? If I can't I can't do um the the thing if I if it's a inline spoiler like this if I click it it doesn't bring up the carousel they call it hey leaving gab is free and now you can do real life activism that's him he kind of has like a Matt Jarbo soy face to it gab right now then it's a guy on fire I wonder what he's protesting gab Torba good news we released an update <laughs> that's actually pretty funny um seems we have a problem gifting pro to others so not only are they asking for this without any kind of goal in mind without any stated purpose besides just making more money uh their way to g gift shit does not fucking work so they can't even you can't like if you're gonna demand people give you money why are you making it difficult for them? make sure your shit works first Believe it or not, when I launched the lolcal fund, I actually put in my own credit card details to make sure that it would go through. <laughs> um, a user complaining he can't give to someone license to meme uh, hosted on gab.com. Speak Freely says, Torba heavily invests in AI. This requires large upgrade costs and dedicated servers, bankrupt gabs, and it's these damned free accounts, uh, and then slashed out de democrats. And there's a nice picture of him in a room full of burning money. Um, I didn't even mention that Gab is trying to make Gab AI because this is the Torba business model is that anytime anything happens, um, he says, we, we should make a Gab version of that. And then he just takes other people's money and he burns it in a fire and then nothing happens. He tried to set up Gab TV as a streaming service that went nowhere. He tried to set up um, like a news site and that went nowhere. He tried to set up a, um, oh, he tried to, um, you know how... Um, like uh, in, you have those little um, transponders like Google TV that you just plug into your your um, TV to get like smart TV onto it. He tried to set up a Gab TV with, with like a Chinese made smart TV thing with a remote control. The Gab, t yeah, the Gab TV box. That's what it is. He tried to like bootstrap physical hardware for a 24-7 Gab TV thing. It's like, dude, it never stops.
Yeah, like a fire stick. Like you try to physically manufacture Gab TV devices and have people buy them so you could have 24-7 access to Gab TV on your on your television. Um, oh, and the Gab phone? Oh, my God. I thought you were joking, but no, he tried to make his own privacy-oriented Gab, like um, Graphite OS smartphone, and that, I don't think that materialized either. And now he's doing the Gab AI. So, like, his core product a social media platform where people can share memes about current events and news and stuff. And he's crippling that with a golf club to try and force people to cough up while he is like investing in failed venture after failed venture. All, all he had to do for Gab to be successful is make sure that the core product works. And I don't know, he, we have, I have different ideas than him for how that could be done. Um, apparently he is more innovative than I could give him credit for because his banning pornography was a good idea in the long run, but, um, just get that working. And then here's an idea. How about Gab advertising? Uh, Google AdSense has a monopoly on the market, but everyone hates them and there's no alternative. If you could get like a, like, uh, a, a, a free speech advertising alternative that has, you know, like dude wipes and, and, um, black rifle coffee and shit and you can put that on your website that might be something even i'm interested in even though i hate ads i do like money um so that that's something that has like a genuine market to it and he just he just doesn't focus on shit that's actually viable he focuses on shit that's like self self ingratiating and like autistic um so yeah well that's the meme that's his avatar he read Sell your soul to Gab Pro. A picture of him. I like this. This is an ASCII of a um, Schutzstaffel Wojak, and he's crying, but it's all ASCII because he can't post images anymore. Um, Gab needs useless biased AI programs a lot more than it needs loyal users. And then there's like a retard drowning. I don't know who that is, but it's supposed to be Andrew Torbett, and that's extremely unflattering. It's not about meme data usage or bots. It's about your identity and what the feds can prove with this info in court. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Gab helps as Neri Gold. Check your followers. Are they still active? I think that he's trying to say, like, um, that's weird. I guess he's trying to mock this guy. Like, Torva's trying to mock him for not having active followers. Uh, get, Torbett as a rat saying, don't worry guys, I got your back. I support all legal speech and protect my users unless politely asked by the feds for your personal information. He must have given data, um, without a court order or something. Cause that's weird. There must be, I, I must not be up to date on my Torba lore. Cause that seems to imply that he gives uh, user data out just from a request. Gab, the social media site for memes and anonymity now without memes and anonymity. <laughs> Oh, they're complaining because, um, of course, how did I forget to mention this? That, that they um, don't know how to, like, if you donate money, how do you do so anonymously? And Torba is suggesting that if you use a post office um, a money order, then that will work. And I suppose it does, generally speaking, but, like, the police could check the post office footage to see who's buying that money order. Like, you can't. It's not really possible without without crypto, and even with crypto, it's difficult to give money to someone anonymously. Uh, black people built Gab, and that's a fact. <laughs> Andrew Torba on the the, you don't even really need to replace the the because it is a frog. He's about to stab him in the back. These are great. I love it when like a like a social media site like implodes and everyone's like shit posting. Uh, this is a large account apparently saying gab says starting in march no more memes will be posted from people using free accounts i have the same meme group on mewe.com it's five thousand plus members if you can't post memes here join me on mewe so he's trying to... well i mean that's a that's a natural consequence if you have these accounts and they have their social media presences spread out like a, you know tree roots are you going to ban advertising too are you going to say no you can't you can't advertise alternatives to gab one gab to circumvent our paywall well, if you can't do that, then nobody's going to use your site. Like the whole point of using social media is to advertise your podcast and shit. You know what I mean? Um, make speech fourteen ninety nine again. That's pretty funny, actually. Fourteen ninety nine, huh? Not fourteen eighty eight. Now, how based is he truly? Twinkle Tard sweeping it up. Twinkle Tard. 
Why am I having to sweep it up? Oh, I see Seek a Loather is giving money again. That's dangerous. I thought that was Finkletar. That's always a bit surprised that there was spam. Okay, I will have to sweep it up. Yeah, I'm getting a, I'm getting a little bit annoyed by the bots. Like, how really, honestly, how hard is it to put in some kind of a filter? There are no there are no bots on base kick Kikaruski, Kikaruski Bros. Where are we at rats? In chat, okay. Wait, it's not rat jam. What is it? I thought it was rat jam. Hold up, sorry, I'm trying to explore. It's rat jam in all caps, apparently. Okay, fine, whatever. You have to. I did rat jam with proper casing and not rat jam all caps. So that's my bad. Uh, okay, so I was let me break off of this real quick before I get too into it. But I kind of want to go. Let me pull this off screen and make sure I don't show anything. I shouldn't. I'm gonna do something really quick. Okay, this looks fine. Okay, storage. Unify open ZFS durable for high level deployments. Raid expansion. Let's go with the cheap one, I guess. We're gonna build a server today, chat. Okay. Starting at twelve thousand for that chassis. That's pretty expensive. Dual, so this is a twenty gigabit Ethernet port. You configure. Start with the cheapest boy and just slot them up. So we're gonna go six. I mean, it's just a storage server. It doesn't really need anything. It comes with all this shit. So it's basically out of the box. It's a good server. Like, this is what they suggest for you. You don't have any other options, so enjoy. That's the boot drive. It has a um, SSD. And then I want... Oh, so this price includes all the storage, too. I see. So I can change this to, like, if I want... 22, 22 gigabyte disk. That's crazy. That's crazy storage. But if I switch to that... The price barely goes up. It's $14,000 for this. It's got three, six, 12 drives. Each of those 22 fucking gigabytes. It's actually, I wouldn't put 22 gigabytes on a single drive. That's crazy. Um, then you want to have at least like one X redundancy. So probably half of that gets lost to the raid. Um, so that's six. Actually, I can change the raid settings down here. Um, can't I? I guess you have to set up the raid yourself. They don't do it for you. But you just take, let's see, 22 times 6. That's 132 terabytes. Terabytes of storage for $13,000. And this thing is going to last for like five years. Easy. So 13, that's your crowdfunding goal. I need 13 people to give me a lifetime subscription to Gab so we can buy 132 terabytes of storage. <laughs> there you go problem solved why don't i get hired people hire me i can solve your fucking issues like that i'm, I'm a smart boy <laughs> sorry terabyte i was confused <laughs> terabytes that's a that's massive um a 200 terabytes dude i would not put 200 terabytes of fucking anything on a single drive unless that thing is like never going to it has like a zero percent fault risk there's not a fucking chance um anyways and then you just need 10 like less than 10 of these to get a petabyte that's like a hundred thousand dollars but then you have a petabyte of storage are you gonna fill it up no you're not gonna fill that fucking up are you retarded enjoy so there you go and it's only two two units that's so slim dude that's crazy i'm actually shocked that's really 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 thin anyways my point is is that torba's an idiot Next. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.